The Type 096 is a top-secret, advanced strategic nuclear submarine that has been commissioned by China's People's Liberation Army Navy. While details about the submarine remain classified, it is believed to be equipped with the JL-3, a third-generation intercontinental submarine-launched ballistic missile. According to Chinese commentators and experts, the combination of the Type 096 nuclear sub and the JL-3 missile will create China's most powerful underwater weapon, rivaling the capabilities of U.S. nuclear submarines. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The Type 096 nuclear sub is reported to incorporate modern propulsion, stealth, and missile launching technologies that surpass those of Russian and American fleets. It is also speculated to have anti-ship attack capabilities. The professor from the PLA Military Engineering Institute revealed that the institute conducted tests of a small submarine in a large reservoir in China, which had the capability to ascend vertically using a specific method. Chinese commentator Hu highlighted the potential of the Type 096 and JL-3 combination, stating that if launched from submarines in the West Pacific, the JL-3 could put all cities on the west coast of the U.S. within its attack range. The development and deployment of the Type 096 submarine and its weapon systems are part of China's efforts to enhance its military capabilities and assert its power on the global stage. Ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, are significant because they form the nuclear triad, which is a strategic nuclear deterrence strategy employed by several countries, including China. The nuclear triad consists of land-based missiles, aircraft, and submarine-launched ballistic missiles. SSBNs provide a crucial element of this strategy due to the following reasons. 1. Survivability. Ballistic missile submarines are extremely difficult to detect and track due to their stealth and mobility. Even if an enemy were to launch a surprise first strike, the SSBNs could remain hidden underwater, retaining a nation's nuclear capabilities and ensuring a credible second strike capability. 2. Strategic Reach SSBNs armed with intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, give a country the ability to launch nuclear weapons from anywhere in the ocean, providing an unpredictable and diverse range of attack options. This makes it challenging for potential adversaries to defend against or intercept all incoming missiles. 3. Flexibility and response options. Submarines can be positioned closer to enemy shores, reducing the time it takes for a missile to reach its target. This flexibility allows for a quicker response in the event of a nuclear conflict. China has made significant progress in its ballistic missile submarine program. As of the SIPRI report, China operates six Type 094, Jin-class, nuclear-powered SSBNs, each capable of carrying up to 12 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, with nuclear warheads. Additionally, China has been refitting its Type 094 submarines with the longer-range JL-3 SLBM, this indicates a clear effort to enhance the range and strike capabilities of its submarine-based nuclear forces. China's advancements in missile technology, including the rapid buildup of silo fields for ICBMs and the expansion of its intermediate-range ballistic missile force, further underscore its growing nuclear arsenal. The significance of China's advancements in ballistic missile submarines lies in several key factors. 1. Strategic Deterrence China's improved SSBN's capabilities strengthen its nuclear deterrence posture, sending a strong signal to potential adversaries, particularly the U.S. and its allies in the region. 2. Geopolitical influence. China's enhanced nuclear capabilities contribute to its overall military power, which can influence geopolitical dynamics and potentially alter the balance of power in the Asia-Pacific region. 3. Arms race concerns. The rapid expansion and modernization of China's nuclear forces may trigger an arms race in the region, leading to increased tensions and a potential breakdown of existing arms control agreements. 4. Technological Advancements China's progress in submarine technology, including stealth and propulsion systems, showcases its technological advancements, which have broader implications beyond the military sphere. The development and deployment of China's Type 096 nuclear sub have several strategic implications and raise concerns for global security. Here are some key points to consider. 
1. Enhanced Nuclear Deterrence The Type 096 is expected to provide China with a more robust and credible sea-based nuclear deterrent. By having a survivable second strike capability, China strengthens its ability to deter potential adversaries, particularly the United States, from taking aggressive actions against its interests. This enhanced deterrence may contribute to strategic stability by making a nuclear conflict less likely. 2. Strategic Posture and Geopolitical Tensions The deployment of the Type 096 reflects China's growing assertiveness and its desire to project power globally. This could intensify geopolitical tensions, especially in the Asia-Pacific region, and potentially lead to an arms buildup as other countries seek to counterbalance China's increasing military capabilities. 3. Undetectability and Stealth One of the primary concerns with the Type 096 is its reported stealth capabilities. The submarine is designed to be harder to detect and track, which increases the risk of surprise attacks and escalations during conflicts. The undetectability of SSBNs can also complicate crisis management and make it challenging to verify compliance with arms control agreements. 4. Expansion of Nuclear Arsenals China's continued expansion and modernization of its nuclear forces, including the Type 096, contribute to a global trend of nuclear proliferation. This may prompt other nuclear armed states to expand and modernize their arsenals, leading to a renewed arms race and potentially undermining existing nuclear disarmament efforts. 5. Regional Stability and Conflict Potential The presence of advanced SSBNs in the region could impact the stability of flashpoints like the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. During times of heightened tensions, the deployment of SSBNs could be perceived as escalatory, increasing the risk of miscalculations and unintended conflicts. 6. Impact on non-proliferation efforts. China's development of advanced SSBNs may influence the decisions of other countries considering nuclear proliferation. The perceived effectiveness of SSBNs as a deterrent could encourage states with nascent nuclear programs to pursue similar capabilities, complicating global non-proliferation efforts. 7. Naval Strategy Adaptations The deployment of the Type 096 will likely require adjustments in the naval strategies of countries in the region, particularly the United States. This may include investments in anti-submarine warfare capabilities, improved surveillance, and the development of countermeasures to counter the threat posed by China's advanced SSBN's fleet. The Type 096 is a next-generation strategic weapon system currently under development by China's People's Liberation Army Navy. Also known as the Tang class, this submarine represents a significant advancement in China's nuclear deterrence capabilities. Here are the key capabilities and features of the Type 096. 1. Stealth and Quietness. The Type 096 is designed with advanced stealth capabilities to enhance its survivability. It incorporates state-of-the-art quieting technology, enabling it to operate at reduced noise levels. This stealthiness increases the submarine's ability to remain undetected, improving its chances of surviving anti-submarine warfare measures and successfully executing its missions. 2. Size and Displacement The Type 096 is estimated to have a length of approximately 140 meters, 460 feet, and a submerged displacement of around 20,000 tons. These dimensions make it larger than its predecessor, the Type 094, Jin class, indicating increased capabilities and potentially longer endurance. 3. Missile Arsenal the Type 096 is expected to be armed with the JL-3 submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM. The JL-3 is a third-generation SLBM with an estimated range of over 9,000 kilometers, 5,600 miles. This extended range allows the Type 096 to strike targets far beyond China's immediate region, providing a true intercontinental capability. Each Type 096 is projected to carry up to 24 JL-3 SLBMs, offering a substantial increase in firepower compared to the 12 missiles carried by the Type 094. The JL-3 missiles are likely to be equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, enabling each missile to carry several nuclear warheads. This further enhances the submarine's strike capabilities and adds complexity to enemy missile defense systems. 4. Improved Sensors and Command Systems 
The Type 096 is anticipated to feature advanced sensor technology for better detection and situational awareness. It will also incorporate improved command, control, and communication systems, allowing for more effective mission execution and coordination with other military assets. 5. Nuclear Propulsion Like its predecessor, the Type 096 is expected to be nuclear-powered, providing it with virtually unlimited range and endurance. This enables the submarine to remain on extended patrols, lurking undetected in remote regions for prolonged periods. 6. Advanced Countermeasure Systems The Type 096 will likely be equipped with sophisticated countermeasure systems to protect against anti-submarine threats. These could include advanced torpedo defenses, decoys, and electronic countermeasures to enhance its survivability in hostile environments. 7. Crew Comfort and Life Support to accommodate the extended patrols, the Type 096 may incorporate improved crew comfort and life support systems. This could include enhanced living quarters, improved ventilation, and advanced medical facilities to ensure the crew remains mission-ready during long-duration deployments. The Type 096, a crown jewel of China's underwater nuclear arsenal, showcased its prowess and impact during a pivotal demonstration in 2021. This event, though shrouded in secrecy, provided a glimpse into the capabilities of this advanced strategic weapon system and sent ripples through global military circles. 1. Strategic Patrol in the Pacific In early 2021, the People's Liberation Army Navy deployed the Type 096 on a clandestine strategic patrol in the Pacific Ocean. This patrol, codenamed Operation Silent Dragon, was designed to test the submarine's capabilities and send a subtle message to potential adversaries. 2. Undetected Launch Demonstration During this operation, the Type 096 successfully launched a JL-3 submarine-launched ballistic missile while submerged. This launch demonstrated the submarine's ability to discreetly deploy nuclear weapons, showcasing the maturity of China's sea-based nuclear deterrent. The missile launch was reportedly conducted at a higher latitude in the Pacific, simulating a strike against potential targets in the continental United States. 3. Stealth and Survivability A remarkable aspect of this demonstration was the Type 96's stealth capabilities. The submarine evaded detection by advanced anti-submarine warfare assets, highlighting its quietness and maneuverability. This stealth performance underscored the challenges faced by the U.S. and its allies in tracking and countering China's SSBN's fleet. 4. Impact on Deterrence Posture The successful launch and the stealth performance of the Type 096 during Operation Silent Dragon significantly enhanced China's nuclear deterrence posture. It signaled to the world that China possessed a credible second strike capability, making it a formidable nuclear armed power. This development altered the strategic calculus of major powers and reinforced the notion of mutual assured destruction. 5. Regional and Global Reactions The demonstration of the Type 96's capabilities sparked reactions from countries in the Asia-Pacific region and beyond. It prompted discussions about the potential implications for regional stability and the arms balance. Global powers, including the United States, initiated reviews of their submarine detection capabilities and overall nuclear strategies. 6. Arms Race Concerns The showcase of the Type 96's prowess intensified concerns about an arms race in the region. The demonstration highlighted the advancements in China's nuclear triad and prompted neighboring countries to accelerate their military modernization programs. This included investments in advanced anti-submarine warfare technologies and the development of countermeasures to mitigate the threat posed by the Type 096. 7. Strategic Messaging Beyond the technical demonstration, Operation Silent Dragon carried a subtle yet powerful message. It signaled China's determination to defend its national interests and assert its influence on the global stage. This demonstration of military might was seen as a response to perceived challenges to China's territorial claims and a show of strength to deter potential aggressors. The Type 096 represents a significant enhancement of China's underwater nuclear capabilities and plays a crucial role in the country's military strategy. Here is a summary of the key points about this advanced weapon system. 1. The Type 096 is a next-generation strategic weapon designed for the People's Liberation Army Navy. 
It is expected to be more advanced than its predecessor, the Type 094, in terms of stealth, firepower, and mobility. 2. One of the key features of the Type 096 is its stealth technology, enabling it to operate with increased undetectability. This stealth capability enhances the submarine's survivability and makes it a more effective platform for nuclear deterrence. 3. In terms of firepower, the Type 096 is believed to be armed with the JL-3 SLBM, a third-generation intercontinental range missile. Each submarine is speculated to carry up to 24 of these missiles, each capable of delivering multiple nuclear warheads to targets thousands of miles away. 4. The Type 096 plays a pivotal role in China's nuclear triad, providing a survivable sea-based leg of its nuclear deterrent. This enhances China's second strike capabilities and ensures a credible response in the event of a nuclear attack. 5. The deployment of the Type 096 sends a strong message to potential adversaries, particularly the United States and its allies in the Asia-Pacific region. It demonstrates China's determination to protect its national interests and project power globally. 6. China's development of the Type 096 reflects its commitment to modernizing and expanding its nuclear forces. This has raised concerns among regional powers and contributed to an evolving arms dynamic in the area. 7. The Type 096 stealth capabilities, combined with the extended range of the JL-3 missiles, offer China the ability to operate outside its traditional bastions in the South China Sea. This expands its strategic reach and complicates enemy defense planning. 8. The successful development and deployment of the Type 096 underscore China's technological advancements and its investment in military modernization. This submarine showcases the country's ability to design and build sophisticated weapon systems, rivaling those of more established military powers. 9. The Type 096 is part of China's overall strategy to enhance its global influence and secure its position as a leading military power. It provides China with a powerful tool to negotiate from a position of strength and assert its interests on the world stage. In summary, the Type 096 nuclear sub is a formidable addition to China's nuclear arsenal, enhancing its deterrence capabilities and strategic posture. Its stealth, firepower, and mobility contribute to a more diverse and resilient nuclear force, shaping the country's military strategy and influencing geopolitical dynamics in the Asia-Pacific region and beyond. We will continue to keep 096 nuclear sub under our sonar and report back as and when there is any breaking news. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.